Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. This is our last Christmas in July video. So much fun doing Christmas in July. I can't wait to do Christmas when it's November. Oh my gosh. Like, comment, and share if you like this and hit subscribe if you haven't yet. So we are going to be painting today. How much fun. I got this vase from a thrift store, but you can get these from Dollar Tree. I'm using Waverly and White and Waverly and in Ink for this first one. And I'm just going to give the vase a nice coat of paint. I think I actually ended up doing two coats on this vase. So what inspired me about this video is everybody's kind of afraid to paint, <laughs> especially faces. And I just wanted to show you guys, you don't need artistic ability to paint these faces. Oh my gosh, they will turn out so cute. Um, I did use Waverly and in ink to do the top of this because this is going to be a snowman. And then I came in with some apple barrel and acrylic and I just went over it with a sponge brush, paintbrush, and I wanted texture. So I would go over it, then I would pat it with the side of the sponge to give it texture to look like it was snow. Then I came in with Apple Barrel in black, and this is where I started my face. I am just freehanding this with my paintbrush um, and fixing it as I go. So I'm starting with the eyes. And as I said before, like these faces will turn out so cute. Don't be afraid to try this. If it doesn't, paint over it, start again. <laughs> if you want to practice on a piece of paper first, making faces, but you really can't go wrong. Any mistakes you make can be fixed. So I started with the eyes. You'll see me keep lifting up just to make sure I am centered. <laughs> And here I saw that I wanted my eyes just a little bit more oval and a little bit larger. So I came in and fixed it with my paintbrush. I absolutely love these vases because I painted the top of this black and that kind of mimics his hat. And I think that is so stinking cute. Oh my gosh. And now I'm just going to keep adding the face. I come in. I don't make the nose like a carrot nose, but I do use orange to kind of get that look. But I didn't want the carrot shape. So let me explain that before we get to it. I'm adding right now some eyelashes. I'm going to give him eyebrows, a quirky little crooked smile, and you can come in and kind of make one corner of the smile just a little fatter to mimic like his mouth being open just a little bit. And then just have fun. Start playing around and making shapes and adding more. The more... um paint you keep adding it just comes alive it really does so like I said there's really no messing up what I love about painting faces is when you come in at the end with the white the white is what really makes this pop and where you put the white highlights oh my gosh it brings this alive I wanted him to have rosy cheeks, so I mixed pink and this little red color I had together. It was a little too dark, so I do come in when I start highlighting with the white, and I do soften that up just a little bit. I didn't really want this to be super dark. At first, I came in and just added a little bit more pink over it. And because I did do this after the mouth, I do come in and I fix the mouth where the rosy cheeks are. I could see where I already had it, so that was an easy fix. Now it's time to come in with the white. And like I said, once you start with adding the white, little highlights to this is when this really comes alive. Okay. 
to soften those rosy cheeks, I come in with a fatter paintbrush and I just kind of dab the white over the cheeks just to soften them up. They still were just a little too dark and I blended in the edges and everything with the white that was already on the vase. And I like that so much better with those just being a little fainter. If I went over the mouth, I just fixed it, but those are easy fixes. With the white paint, like I said before, that highlights that you add, it just makes it pop. Then I came in with black and went under the nose just a little bit and did a little black highlight on the nose as well. I didn't like the rest of the vase. It, it wasn't as chunky as the face. So I did come in and I added just a little more white paint to make it um, textured like the front. I had this um, black and white buffalo check ribbon and I am going to take a piece and cut it down and I'm going to make a border around the base of his hat adding a border of that buffalo check and then I'm going to come in with a big old bow and kind of catty corner it on the edge and the bow is going to be on the side instead of on the front of his face. I didn't want a, anything covering up that cute face. That is why I decided to go with a side bow instead of a front bow. Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times Oh, and the sun said It is just getting better On a blanket with the skyline Painted in blue Ooh, yeah, that's what we do before adding the bow, I decided to come in with some white paint and I went around the rim of the top and then kind of came down with my brush in areas to make it look like his hat had snow on it. Once I had that done, then it was time to add that big old cute bow to the side. Using hot glue, I just hot glued the center of the bow onto the tails and onto that rim that I had made with the buffalo check. And here's how he turned out. I think he's so much fun. You can put sticks from outside and add a little white paint. Oh, finally, I did add um, crystal clear enamel to it to seal it. But here's the vase with some greenery in it. And like I was saying, you can go get sticks from your yard. You can paint them white. You can add berries to them. Sky's the limits for what you can put into this cute little snowman vase. Let me know in the comments, did you like this? Are you going to try it? I would love to see pictures if you do try. I had so much fun with that. I grabbed this hot cocoa jar that I had and it did have the label on the front and it also had hot cocoa directions on the back. I couldn't get those off. <laughs> so what I decided to do was to leave them. Since this will be a decoration for a hot cocoa bar, I thought that would be cute if they were on there. Um, I did take some brown paint and I put it on the inside of this and just kind of added paint and swirled it around until the total inside was covered. Then I flipped my jar over into a cup and I let all that paint drain and added it back to the container. Now, of course, I'm not going to make my face on the directions or the label, so we're going to use this side to start the um, face. Because I did not paint on the outside of the glass and I had the paint on the inside, I used Mod Podge first and I put a really nice coat of Mod Podge where I would be painting the face. That way the paint would stick. And then I came in just like I did with the snowman, but this is going to be a gingerbread man and freehanded the eyes and nose and mouth, just like on the snowman, I just kept playing around. I wanted this one to pop a little bit more, so I do add color to his eyes. That is something I did not do with the snowman. So once you get the eyes the shape you want, I came around it and I kind of made a 
the eyes bigger, but I didn't fill in the gap, that's where I'm going to add my color. So I purposely left those gaps there for a reason. And like I said, just like I did the snowman, I did the white to highlight. Um, I did rosy cheeks, the mouth, everything. And I came in at the end and I kind of did a little squirrely circle around his whole face just to make him look more like a gingerbread man. So I'm going to play some Christmas music and you can see how I painted this face. Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. Good, good. 
As I said before, the white highlights is what make this pop. I love the green in his eyes. He's so much fun, so cute, so happy. I do highlights around the nose. And when I did the highlight dots on his eyes, I actually brought my paintbrush down and made lines. And just to give it a different effect and different look than the snowman had. A lot of what I'm doing is the same with the highlights as I did on the snowman except for you know his eyes are green and I did do that effect with the dot and bringing the lines down but a lot of it is just highlighting the same way and look at every bit of white that you put on this it just brings it alive oh my gosh these faces are so stinking cute I know I could do the rosy cheeks before I do the mouth. I like doing the rosy cheeks after I have the mouth in place just because if you do it first and you're kind of having to um, use that as a guide for your mouth, that's why you see me always doing my cheeks. Then um, I come in and fix the mouth over the cheeks, if that makes any sense. To me, that's just easier. But like I said, this is inspiration. You do it your way. Um, I add that little bit of squiggly circle around his face. I think that makes it look more like a gingerbread. And then I come in with white and I come in with pink and I put a cute little heart on his cheek. Just I was having so much fun painting and I just thought that would be super cute. So next, we're going to start on his hat. We're going to give this gingerbread man a cute little winter hat. And I used a lid off of a mason jar. I popped off the middle, and I'm just going to be using the rim of the lid. I like how it goes down over the original lid of the jar, and it would be the perfect placement. So I grabbed some black yarn. This yarn is from Dollar Tree. That is their brand. And I use a box... Um, like lid, I think it was off a coffee box just for a template. And I'm going to be wrapping my yarn around the box and getting the length that I want. Then you just fold it in half, pull it through the loop, and you keep doing that all the way around the lid. I know this seems like it would be tedious, but it really went super fast. I think I timed it. It took me less than 10 minutes to you know, get all my yarn cut and to wrap it around that lid. So this is the length I want. So I'm just going to keep wrapping, 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 and then I'm going to cut it in the center and I get the perfect length. I wanted long pieces of yarn because I wanted this hat to be tall on his head. So like I said before, take it, pull it through that, kind of push it over so they're next to each other and now I'm going to be covering that whole lid with the yarn. I really didn't want any of that silver showing so just make sure sometimes it looks like it's done and look how much I could still pull away um, you just want to keep kind of you don't want them to overlap each other but you just kind of want to push them away from um, the center just to make sure that all of the silver would be covered now you can see i thought i was done but i still had a few more that i needed to add to this once it is totally covered you get the cutest rim now i did save one piece so what you do next is you take all of the uh, part that you had hanging down and you're going to pull it through the center 
So just take it and push it through. That gives the perfect rim to the hat. Um, and it looks like it's a rim and the hat comes around the bottom. If you didn't do this, it would kind of be all one cohesive piece. I hope this makes sense. You will see in a minute because you can see a definite definition of the rim from the hat. Once you have all your pieces pulled through, then I kind of just put it on my jar and worked from it being on my jar. That was easier. I pulled it all up, made sure that I didn't have any that were bent. I wanted them all the yarn pieces to be nice and straight. Once I had them pulled up, I'm going to use that piece that I kept aside and I'm going to tie it making a knot in the front and then I kind of go around and I make a knot in the back. Once I have my knots, I pull that extra up to blend in with the rest of the top of the hat. So once you tie it, then just pull it up and it blends in with the top of the hat. Then all you have to do is take scissors and kind of trim it down so you have a nice little fluffy top of your um, winter hat. You can cut this as short as you want. I kind of start off by trimming it, then I take a look at it. If it's still too tall, then I come in and trim it. It's much better to be longer than sh too short. So just kind of trim, trim, trim. And once you have it the perfect length, you're done. He turned out so adorable. And I actually love that the original label is on the side. And I love that the other side is a hot cocoa recipe. I think that is so cute. I love his face. I love the little hat. And he looks so cute at Christmas time on a hot cocoa bar or just as a decoration. Um, sorry for the glare from my lights. Um, I really tried to get a better picture, but the glare just it kept happening so <laughs> here's the final um end result i think he's adorable i think the snowman base is so cute as well what was your favorite which one did you like the best so this was an inspiration video don't be afraid try something new don't be afraid to make those cute faces you don't really have to have any artistic ability whatsoever they will come out cute no matter what you do i love you guys i appreciate you so much much. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't yet, hit that like button, share it with your friends. It helps my channel out so much. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So I hope you guys are having a blessed and wonderful week and I'll see y'all next Tuesday. Bye y'all.